Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be cutting some Lake Superior agates on my slab saw. We also have some Kale Sydney and a couple other possible agates. Not sure. We got to cut them, see what's going on inside. As you can tell, it's raining out, but I set up an umbrella. And I want to say, too, if you watched the last video where I showed all the details of all these rocks, at the end of the video, I posed a question about cutting this agate right here. Really excited. I decided to cut it. So I'm not gonna wait till the end to cut it. I'm gonna cut about halfway through the video. So make sure you stick around for that. This is a beauty. Really looking forward to seeing that. So I got a few more things to set up here and then we can get right to cutting. All right, so the first few I'm gonna cut is this little carnelian nodule right here. I'm gonna do this one first because I'm just so excited to see what's going on inside. And then we're gonna cut this big one. It's got a lot of translucency. I'm about, I don't know, I'd say 25% of me thinks it might be an agate, but I highly doubt it. But let's cut her open and uh, we'll see what's going on. Alrighty, I haven't looked at it yet. Oh, that's really pretty. That's some really cool banding. Not too bad. I'm happy with that. Let's get going on this big guy. This is going to take a little while. All right, haven't looked at it. You guys ready? Not going to lie, that is really pretty. I... And that's smooth, like that's a complete face. It's not indent. That is strange. Huh. I know the lighting's not that great out here, but maybe it is an agate. Let me know what you guys think. I'll have to look at this in some closer detail in some better light. We'll do that at the end. Alrighty, so next I'm going to cut a couple other smaller ones and then I also threw this one in there as well. Really excited to see what's in these little bad boys. Alrighty, we got those three cut. Here's this one, a lot of limonite all over this. Looks like it's got a lot of moss going on in there. That's pretty. Some little bands here and there. That's kind of cool. This one, it's like a whirl agate or a hurricane agate. Really love the inside. A lot of quartz, but on this side, some really cool banding kind of hidden in the quartz there. And then, yeah, really great orange. Really cool. And then this little beautiful orange nodule. This is stuff you find all over the place. And check this out. <laughs> what beautiful banding is inside that. Oh, I love that. Oh, so happy with that. <laughs> oh, sweet. Sweet, sweet. Alrighty, I got a couple of uh, thin ones that I wanted to cut here. Carnelian, pretty sure this is just Chalcedony. This is some darker Chalcedony with quartz. And then I think this is going to be a moss. But we'll cut her open, see what's going on. So here's that one. It's got some bands on the outside right here. It's pretty cool. I know when I showed this one, somebody told me it'd be a waste of time to cut it. I think that's pretty amazing. Got some beautiful quartz in there. I thought it would just be uh, Chalcedony running all the way through, but it's got some really nice quartz, really cool banding. I like that. Just cut this bad boy as suspected. 
Very much a moss agate. Pretty cool. Alright, haven't looked at it. Hard to tell. Looks like it's got some moss going on, some quartz. Hold on. Yeah, just, just some moss and some quartz. Kind of what I expected from this one. Alrighty, so the next three are some very beach worn agates. I'm pretty sure these two are. I'm very sure that this one is. So let's cut those and I'll show you after they're done being cut. Alrighty, so that first kind of skinny one I thought was a beach worn agate. It's got nothing going on that I can see. And uh, same with this little one right here. Don't see, well, whatever. I don't see a whole lot going on with those ones. So maybe those are just uh, beach boring kill Sydney. Uh, this one I thought was a Saganite or Saginite agate. Has sprays going on in there. So definitely is. It's pretty cool. I probably won't polish this one, but it's still pretty neat. Alrighty, next up on the chopping block is going to be... Uh, three of them that I'm not too sure I, I I'm pretty sure this one this one does have some agate qualities going on right there Some translucency down here these two. I'm not too sure, but we'll cut them and we'll show you the results Alrighty, so that first one we cut I Think it's you'll have to let me know what you guys think, but I'm pretty sure that's a very dense moss agate Look at that. <laughs> Such a dirty cut. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about that one. Uh, this one, I don't believe ended up being anything. It was a very pretty, really pretty piece. But those look like sprays, but I don't, I don't believe they are. I don't know. Let me know what you think. And then this one, really cool piece, ended up being very very mossy that's really pretty really really pretty stuff going on in there but I am super excited because we are I think a little over halfway I got a few more these ones are for sure agates and kill Sydney and then we got this big mongo that I'm gonna cut last but I'm gonna cut this guy right now super nervous about it I'm gonna cut it right down the middle here Hopefully we got some good stuff going on with this. I'm a little nervous, but we gotta see what's going on inside. So hopefully, well, I know there's quartz kind of all over in it, so hopefully it's not just a big quartz ball, but let's cut it, let's see what's going on. Oh man, I am so nervous for this. All right, I haven't looked. I'm not gonna look. Still not looking. Let me spin this over here. I'm gonna hit it with the hose quick so you guys can see I'm still not looking. And then we'll take a peek at it, okay? I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Don't peek. All right. All right, moment of truth, you guys. I'm pretty nervous to cut this. Let's see. It's a moss. <laughs> There's banding in there, though. Right in here. Man, get that leaf out of here. It's pretty. It's pretty in its own right. I was hoping for some sweet bands. Not gonna lie, like this guy right here. But, that's ah, got some stuff going on there as well. And over here. I just need to, I think I need to look at it in better light. Looks like there's an eye right there as well. 
That's kind of neat. Yeah. That'd probably be a good one to polish. Probably take a really great polish. Schwill. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Was hoping for more bands on the inside, but it's okay. I mean, as I've said before, it's the cost of exploration, you know? So. All right, we'll, uh, we'll cut some other uh, for sure agates and uh, some Kill Sydney. Got this guy, got bands right here, here and here, so we'll cut that. This little nodule, pretty sure this guy's it's got limonite on it, and then it's carnelian limonite nodule. So we'll cut those up and we'll see what's going on in there. Alrighty, so I cut those four. We had this nodule right here. That is really beautiful. Got some banding right there, and then it's just full. So that is really neat. This guy right here was nothing. I don't know what I was thinking. The lineman I kind of threw me on this one, but yeah, literally nothing. It's not a negative at all. Carnelian and limonite nodule. Cal Sydney. Cal Sydney. I don't know if you would consider that moss or not. It's interesting. Weird white stuff there. That is pretty cool. But this guy right here, there's bands going on there. Right here. And if you saw the video I was showing this, my theory was that the bands were going to run straight through on this guy. And they did. <laughs> White banding with some quartz in the middle. Oh, that is so beautiful. Really happy with that. That is cool. So I have one last rock to cut. It's this guy right here. I'm hoping there's bands inside, but I have a feeling it's gonna be a ton of quartz. It's the last one. I'm gonna have to lift the splash guard up very high. So I'm gonna get soaking wet. I know it's raining and my back is already soaking wet, but I saved that one for last just because it's raining and I knew I was gonna get soaked anyway. So I just wanna say too, if you guys are interested in this saw, check out High Tech Diamond. I'll have my affiliate link in the description box below. Use promo code AGADAD to get 10% off accessories. But I am super excited to cut this last stone. Let's turn the saw back on and see what's going on inside. Alrighty folks, so that, <laughs> I could tell immediately that that was not an agate. As soon as I started going on it, it just cut like butter. So I'm, I'm almost 100% certain this is not an agate. I'm sure it's just quartz, but yeah, that, that was the quickest rock we cut today, even over smaller ones. So let's just see what's going on. That is some, that is some dark quartz right there. Huh. I don't know why I, th hold on. Hold on one sec. <laughs> oh my. It's gonna be so hard for you to tell. I just hosed this thing off, but that is purple. You can kind of tell right there. I'm not fibbing. That's purple. That is amethyst just super light very very light amethyst oh wow we're gonna take a better close-up of this once we get all of this cleaned up and head inside but that is purple right there it's like purple smoky I love that I'm so happy with that <laughs> how cool did not expect that. Literally the last thing I expected was to get some amethyst 
possible smoky quartz going on inside this piece. Wow. So let me get everything cleaned off out here. We'll get the stones cleaned off. We'll get dried off from all this rain. And we'll head inside and take a closer look at a few of these, especially this guy right here. So I got everything cleaned up in here. Just wanted to show you a couple of them in better light. This big guy, still not sure what's going on with that. That is strange. So strange. If you got any ideas, leave a comment. You saw a lot of these. This one right here in better light, absolutely purple with some smoky, maybe it's just smoky quartz, but definitely a purple hue on that one. That is really pretty. Big chunk of quartz. Pretty cool. Love that. Really like this one. This one probably is one of my favorite cuts. Those bands are absolutely beautiful. This is pretty unique too. Really like that. Yeah, this one is pretty, pretty cool as well. Now that I got it in better light, I'm actually a lot happier with it. It is really unique. It's really, really cool. A lot of little bands going on, a little hit of eye right there. Maybe if we polish it, we can expose more of that eye. Well, we had a lot of fun cutting all these beautiful pieces up today. A lot of great success, really happy about a lot of these pieces. Really cool details, really beautiful bands. I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned for a lot more adventures. Thanks for watching.